Next, let us consider gross profit margin. Gross profit margin is equal to gross profit by sales into 100. Gross profit is again sales minus cost of goods sold. Gross profit on cost of goods sold is gross profit by cost of goods sold into 100. Let us take an example. Let us consider gross profit percentage of or gross profit margin of 20% on sales. This would mean that if sales is equal to 100, gross profit is equal to 20. Since GP margin is 20% on sales, sales is 100, GP is 20, cost is 80. Cost of goods sold is 80. 20 by 100, 20 by 100 20% is your GP on sales. GP on cost would be 20 by 80, which is equal to 25% is the GP on cost of goods sold. This 20 by 100 is equal to 1 by 5. And 25 by 100 is one fourth. One fifth of sales and one fourth of cost of goods sold. Let us take another example. Suppose we have a gross profit percent of 20% on cost of goods sold. What would this mean? 20% on cost of goods sold. Therefore, cost of goods sold, let us assume, is 100. So that profit is 20. Cost of goods sold, 100. Since gross profit is 20% on cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold, 100. Profit is therefore 20, which would mean our sales is 120. What is our gross profit percent on sales? Profit on cost of goods sold, profit on cost of goods sold is 20 by 100. 20 by 100. 20% or 1 by 5 of cost of goods sold. Profit on sales is therefore 20 by 120, which is 1 sixth of sales or 33 one third. 20 by 120. 16.67% which is equal to 16.67%. When a percentage, when a gross profit margin is given either on sales or on cost, if gross profit mar margin is given on sales, we can always compute the gross profit margin on cost of goods sold. If gross margin on cost of goods sold is given, we can always compute the GP margin on sales. This is extremely useful in computing several problems which we need to under this topic. If nothing is mentioned, only a gross profit margin is mentioned, it is assumed to be on sales. Because normally we express gross 
profit margin as a percentage of sales. However, we could also express gross profit as a percentage of cost of goods sold. If it is mentioned that gross profit margin is on sales and the percentage is being given, let us assume sales to be 100. If gross profit margin is given as a percentage of cost of goods sold, we will assume that the cost of goods sold is 100 and then proceed. Let us just work these exercises to ensure that we have a very clear understanding of how to compute GP percentages, whether given on sales or cost of goods sold. In the first instance, we have a gross profit of 20% on sales. Sales is 1 lakh. What is the cost of goods sold? This is fairly simple. Sales is 1 lakh. Gross profit. Sales is 1 lakh. Gross profit is 20% of sales. 20% of 1 lakh being 20,000. Therefore, Cost of goods sold is nothing but sales minus the gross profit, which is 80,000. So we are following the equation. Gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of goods sold. Therefore, what is cost of goods sold? 80,000 is the answer. If gross profit is 20% on cost of goods sold, Sales is 1,20,000. What is the cost of goods sold? In this particular instance, the GP percentage is on the cost of goods sold. However, the information given is sales. Therefore, we need to find out what is the gross profit margin on sales in order to find out what is the cost of goods sold. Therefore, since GP percent is 20% on cost of goods sold. So let us assume that the cost of goods sold is 100, in which case the GP would be 20 and therefore sales would be 120. What is the GP percentage on? What is the GP percentage on sales? That would be equal to 20 by 120. If we express as a percentage. Therefore, what is gross profit? Since sales is given, sales is 1,20,000. Therefore, gross profit is 20 by 120 of 1,20,000 which is equal to 20,000. Sales 1,20,000, profit 20,000, therefore cost of goods sold 1 lakh. Next. GP percent 25 percent on sales, cost of goods sold 1,20,000, what is sales? Again, the percentage is on sales, but the information given to us is cost of goods sold 1,20,000. Therefore, let us find out the GP percent on cost of goods sold. 25 percent on sales, therefore, let sales be 100, therefore, gross profit is 25 which means that the cost of goods sold is 75. Therefore, what is the relation of GP to cost of goods sold is 25 by 75. GP margin on cost of goods sold is 25 by 75. If you express as a percentage, it would be like. What is cost of goods sold? It's 
it's 1 lakh 20,000. Therefore, gross profit is equal to 25 by 75 of 1 lakh 20,000. Which is 40,000. Therefore, cost of goods sold 1 lakh 20,000, profit 40,000, therefore sales is equal to 1 lakh 60,000. So sales 1 lakh 60,000 would be the answer. Therefore, GP margin could be on sales or GP margin could be on cost of goods sold. If nothing is mentioned, we will assume the GP margin expressed is a percentage of sales. When GP margin is a percentage of sales, we assume sales to be 100, GP equal to, suppose it is 20%, GP would be 20 and therefore cost would be 100 minus 20, 80. Once we have the three figures, sales, GP and cost of goods sold, a relation can easily be built. If the information given is on cost of goods sold, if gross profit margin is 20% of cost of goods sold, it would mean we will assume cost of goods sold to be 100, gross profit to be 20 and therefore sales would be 100 plus 20, 120. Therefore, profit to sales would be 20 by 120, profit to cost as given is 20 by 100. 